Hi, I'm George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California, and in this video we're going to use the compound interest formula to find an unknown interest rate. I'm going to copy the formula down on the right hand side. A equals P times the quantity 1 plus R divided by N, all raised to the NT power. And like I did in the last video, I'm going to list the different variables in the formula down the left hand side. A, the amount at the end, P, the principal, R, the annual interest rate as a decimal, N, the number of times it's compounded per year, and T, the number of years. And I'm going to start to read through this problem to pick off the important information, extract that information. Um, I can tell right away the first three to five words tells me that I'm going to be looking for R. What interest rate is needed? Um, I see the principal of 3,000, so that's P. In four years, that's T. The compounding is annually, that's once per year. Notice I still have two spaces missing though, and I know that I'm looking for the interest rate, so I need to have some kind of value for A, and it's saying that we want to double the principal. So that means the balance should be two times the principal, two times 3,000 is 6,000. So now I've got them all filled out except for R. I can go to the formula and put in 6,000 equals 3,000 times one plus R over one to the NT power, one times four. Uh, first, I know that that is the fourth power I know that R divided by one is just R. So in addition to that, I'm going to divide both sides by 3,000. And 6,000 divided by 3,000 is two. That gives me this equation. Two equals one plus R to the fourth power. Now to solve this for R, I need to get rid of that exponent first. Think about what you would do with your calculator if you plugged a number in for R. You would add one first, and then you would raise it to the fourth power. You need to solve those in the by picking them off in the opposite order. So the fourth power I can take care of by taking the fourth root of both sides. And so that gives me the fourth root of two equals one plus r. Then I can subtract one, and I find that r equals the fourth root of two minus one. Now, on the calculator, finding the fourth root of two could seem like it would be a little challenging. Let's go to the Desmos calculator. We'll talk about a couple of things that we could do there. So I wanna find the fourth root of two, and I have a key here that says the nth root, so I can use that. I'll click on that, and notice where the cursor is flashing up in the ditch of the radical sign. That's where I would put the four. And inside where the radicand is, that's where I would put the two. And then after that, I subtract one. And there we see 0.189. So R is approximately 0.189 or 18.9%. We'll write that answer in a minute. The other way you could do it, if your calculator doesn't have that nth root feature, we know that we could also just raise two to the one fourth power. So two exponent parentheses one slash four and tap outside of there, subtract one we get the same answer. Uh, if you're struggling to get one fourth into your calculator, we know that one fourth is 0.25. So I could also raise two to the 0.25 power and then subtract one from there. Either way, I get the same result, 0.189, etc. I'm gonna round it to three places. So R 
is approximately 0.189 or 18.9%. So to double your money in four years, the interest rate would have to be approximately 18.9%.